Welcome to Fox Talk. So November is Diabetes Awareness Month and Corey Anderson is here to talk to us specifically about juvenile diabetes and awareness of that. Thanks, Corey, for being with us. Thank you. So Thank you have a very you. personal connection to this disease. I do. I do. My daughter, Amelia, is 10 now. She was diagnosed when she was four. And a lot of people do not expect their children to have diabetes. It's not something that you think about, you vaccinate for. What signs did you notice? How did you, how did you find out she had it? Well, actually, Amelia presented in a different way. She actually had um, multiple urinary tract infections, which is not the norm. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, um, children present with, uh, or anybody at any age, with extreme thirst, um, frequent urination, some have weight loss, or um, extreme fatigue. So there's multiple things that you can look for, be aware of, and different ways to present, so it's not something that this is it, this is what you've right, got, easy right. to understand. And how does it affect your day-to-day -day life as her parent? Oh, wow. When she was first diagnosed, um, it affected our entire lives. There was a point that first weekend, we weren't sure if we would make it through the weekend. Wow. And um, now it's been six years, and it's just our new norm. Mm -hmm. um, our lives revolve around her, her schedule. She has to have... Um, five finger sticks per day. She gets insulin three times wow. per day. And we have to time her meals and her snacks. And um, we just have a really great support team. Everybody at her school, from the cafeteria workers mm -hmm. to the office workers. I mean, everybody has a role to play. And um, now it's, you know, it's Now normal. it's your norm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's something, you know, in November being this, the month of awareness, obviously it's something that can present to anybody of any age, any time you can go, 30 years, never mm -hmm. have it, not think you have it, and then all of a sudden you have diabetes. But it's very cool to know that there is community support there. there and is. it m helps make that journey better and something that she'll deal with because there's not a cure. There's no cure. So no. it's something that she's going to have that support and teaching as a child the basics now right. on how to live with it. Right. There's no cure now, but um, this great organization called JDRF, mm -hmm is uh, they work to support funding and research. They're looking for a cure. They're um, right now doing studies on an artificial pancreas, uh, mm -hmm. smart insulin, and uh, cell replacement therapy. So they keep promising us that um, there'll be a cure in her and lifetime. And hopefully there will be one day. And our website, architecthomepage.com, we're going to have more information. We'll see you tomorrow.